So here basically we have the, the portfolio, the current portfolio of charging, the charging of today, as well as the charging innovations of the future. So we're also showcasing prototypes and uh, concepts that we are bringing to the market in a couple of years. So basically when the vehicles become autonomous, there's no one really to plug in the cable anymore. So charging needs to become autonomous as well. You can do this with inductive or wireless power transfer, which is usually around 11 kW, 22 kW. Um, and we also for fast charging, we are looking for a kind of a robot system. So we put together our Siemens knowledge and know-how in automation, robotics and, and K, KI, um, so artificial intelligence, brought that together, boiled it down to a system um, with high power charging capabilities and brought that to, to the market now. We showcase that with an autonomous truck uh, with our folks from the Swedish company Einride. Um, did that here, this showcase here in Munich in one of our test centers for charging. Um, basically it works like a truck or a car enters the charging stations and we can detect it automatically. Um, our sensors detect then the charging inlet along the vehicle. We adjust the, the angle of the plug, plug in automatically and with the plug and charge technology basically we authenticate the car and start charging. And once the charging process is done we re safely release the, uh, the vehicle and basically that's it. Um, yeah, the showcase can't only be autonomous vehicles, but also like just imagine disabled people, handicapped people, uh, or like um, robot taxis, commercial shuttles that need to have a very small turnover time for charging. Electric charging of trucks is really an actual hot topic. Why is that? Uh, European Commission just uh, released regulations for emission regulations also for commercial vehicles from 2025 onwards, what we have today in the passenger car segment. So there's a huge pressure for truck OEMs to really bring electric trucks to the market. And their customers, logistic companies, they only would go fully electric if there's a decent charging infrastructure available. So the kind of hand and egg problem that we saw in the, the passenger car segment for a decade, literally. And the, the logistic companies, the customer only want to transform if, if the charging doesn't really harm their operational processes. Because the competition is so, so fierce, they can't afford standing there for an hour just waiting for charging. So they said, okay, if you can achieve charging our trucks within that break time that the drivers anyhow have to do every four and a half hours for 40 minutes, hey, we are, we are, we are agreeing to that. So if you calculate that backwards, basically, you end up with 700 kW to one megawatt of, of charging speed. And Siemens is basically developing exactly that one. And in parallel, there's a standardization going on of a new charging plug, which is called MCS, Megawatt Charging System, uh, which can up to charge up to 4.5 megawatt, theoretically. So we'll see trucks in two or three years' time, e-trucks, that can charge up to a megawatt easily. And we are seeing showcasing that already here on public roads in Germany in, in, in a few years' time, together with the German government. We're building up a pilot installation to do exactly that, to charge an electric truck. EV charging in 2030 will be seamless. So basically, um, you will have at home wireless power transfer systems that bi bidirectionally charge your car and also uh, power your home. So basically, you can use that as a huge battery, uh, swarm battery, so to say, in the energy system. So it will be definitely seamless. You don't have to wait for charging anymore. Uh, so you most likely don't recognize it in, anymore.